Okay, so I did something really stupid the other day. I was making a shorts. <laughs> oh my god, it's on fire! Oh. And I ended up burning my sesame roaster because I was making popcorn and I think it was because the popcorn after it's popped, there was no room to move around and when the fire touched it, it just like... So, so this is not a good mechanism to make popcorn, by the way. Um, but then, uh, I got so I got so upset because, like, when it was on fire, I was like, "Oh my gosh, it's on fire!" And I was still like trying to, I was trying to be like a camera person and you know, like continue filming it. And I, I, I just felt like I ruined this. So what ends up happening with this rainbowing effect of stainless steel is that stainless steel has chromium in it and that is supposed to protect like the iron and i guess like the different metals inside stainless steel from rusting and when you combine chromium with like high heat and whatnot it too high heat probably it it ends up discoloring like this and i was like oh gosh like now it's ruined so i've read some uh ways to um uh i guess fix discoloration discolorated stainless steel, so it's just with vinegar. See? Nothing too harsh. Some of these would just come through. Okay, so this with just the vinegar did not work at all, but I think what I found was there were little specks of areas, if you can see that, where I kind of felt like it whitened up a little bit, like it cleaned up a little bit. And so that's what gave me hope that maybe, maybe it's reversible because I, I did end up going to like a, a hardware store and then somebody mentioned like, oh, well, once, you know, uh, uh, stainless steel turns color, you can't really turn it back because it's a chemical process. But from what I've read online, it seemed like people were saying, okay, well, you know, if you, if you clean it with vinegar and you wipe it with a soft cloth, it should, it should clean itself up. Um, yeah, it's still quite discolored, but it's just, there's this part and this part. And it could have been that the popcorn was protecting it in some way. So maybe, you know, I'm just deluding myself. But anyways, what I ended up doing was going to the shop buying a bunch of semi-expensive things. Um, so I read on this other site that if you put together this magical concoction of soda water, um, vinegar, so this is uh, something called, it's a multi-service cleaner, it's called Barkeeper's Friend, apparently completely amazing, can clean a lot of things and it's supposed to restore uh, stainless steel. And then in addition, they mentioned putting a stainless steel polish all together there were no there were no specific um, um amounts so i'm just gonna put together something that probably will resemble a paste and then you're supposed to rub it on i have no idea how long you keep it on for and then you take a soft cloth and you wipe it off so uh so that's what we're gonna do today all right this is not part of it i i found this stuff called pink stuff which apparently was like a huge hit on TikTok that it cleans everything. Um, mainly, I think, keeping shoes white. But I don't I don't think it does like as good of a job as people say, apparently. So that's the other thing. Um, they said that these were caustic chemicals, like if you look on the back of Barkeeper's Friend and everything. So uh, and then I have the I have the window open. This is saying for Barkeeper's Friend, um, put it onto a wet cloth or sponge, rub gently and rinse for more stubborn stains, make a paste by adding a few drops of water, uh, cause this is a powder. Um, apply the paste, remove after a minute, rinse well. For brushed metal surfaces, rub in the direction of brushed lines. Like a soft cloth. Um, do you think I need a mask? It's powder. Maybe I need a mask. Come on. So, I'll mask first. 
Okay. Good opportunity for a thumbnail. Ta-da! I'm pretty sure it's just about making a paste. And all it needs to do is not blow up. And I think I'll be happy. I always feel like I should get kitchen goggles too. So this is the polish. And this itself is supposed to, they say this itself is supposed to get rid of a lot of the discoloration itself. Basically, it talked about rainbow discoloration. So this is powder. Probably not good for you. <laughs> and then vinegar. So this is kind of what I'm worried about. Um, there has to be some kind of reaction, right? No. No, that's fine. And your vinegar. And then people always say to put club soda on things, but I don't know the exact mechanism. Is it the the bubbles? Is it the carbon? Carbonation that lifts stains. Is it nothing? It kind of looks like this now. I think I might add on a little bit more of the barkeeper's friend just to make a paste first. I don't know if I should just test spot it a little bit first, test treat. I'm like, huh. I thought I saw something and then I'm like, maybe I'm not seeing anything. Maybe it just takes a bit longer. Okay, so this actually has been on for about 10 minutes because I was still seeing like some stains, but it may just need to be reapplied because I don't want to keep it on here too long. Might have also dried a bit. 10 minutes is a bit long. <laughs> Might need some water. Because I actually think part of the oxidation removal is actually rubbing off the layer of oxidized material. So I do think because what I'm seeing is it looking a lot better. So I actually think while I was watching it, it wasn't really changing color, but now that I'm rubbing it, I'm actually rubbing physically that, that layer of oxidative material off. And I probably, I still see some, some bits, and so I can reapply in a bit, but I'm kind of excited at what I see. So yeah, you can you can actually see it's like a world of difference because it was so bad down here. But I think you can yeah, you can still see from the sun that part of this is still uh, has discoloration and I think it was just because it was so it was so burnt. Um, so I think what is best to do there is actually because this stuff uh, is actually so caustic is it's, it's better to do it, you know, like five minutes. I did it, you know, 10 minutes, but five minutes at a time, get rid of that layer. And then maybe, you know, maybe like a week later, I don't know, um, to do it over again and just kind of layer it on little by little. And I think that that's the best way to maybe not damage your stainless steel. I mean, I know nothing about this stuff, but I know it's, it's pretty caustic. So, um, and to kind of do it in layers that way. So hopefully, um, in a little bit of time, I'll be able to get off all of the discoloration, but we're not making popcorn in this again. <laughs> all right, hope you all have enjoyed and I'll see you all again next time.